Hi guys, how do you do? Welcome to this short program users. Today we will continue the data grid view entity framework and of course SQL Server tutorials. Specifically, we are going to see how to save data into our database, retrieve that particular data, show it in our data grid view. We are also going to see how to update data. Okay, this is what I am talking about. I come, click my retrieve uh, button over right here. Our data gets retrieved from our database. It gets bound, of course, to our data grid view. What if I want to add a new set of data? I can, for instance, just come right here and type my data. So I go ahead, type my data. Then, of course, I come, click right here, add. Okay. If I click add, our data gets added to our database. What if I want to? Uh, let's say that I want to add a new one. I can come over right here, for instance, and say, I change maybe this one uh, to something like this one. Then I click add it gets added. What if I want to update? I come right here. Let's say that I want to update this one. I come uh, give it a name right here. Then I change whatever I want right here. Then I also come this one. Then I click update. Okay. Our data right here, as you can see uh, gets updated uh, just as we want it. So this is it. This is what we're going to look at. We're going to see how to work with uh, how to save our data, how to update it, and of course, uh, how to bind it to our data grid view. This data is get, getting persisted in our SQL Server database. Welcome, we we'll get started. Now, the first thing, obviously, go ahead and then create a project. Right here, I've already created, uh, pre created my project. Now, just before we get started, let me just show you uh, the database that we were working with. Okay, so that we can be able to see uh, the data that we are having. Now for us, it was uh, which one? We were working with the data grid view over right here, yeah, this one. So we simply come and then we come to our tables over right here. Then we come and then view data. Now if we come to our view data, you can see the data that we added, the data that we updated right here, everything uh, perfectly uh, the way we were adding, okay? So you can see our stuff right here which was working uh, perfectly. Guys, once we've done that one, uh, let's come proceed on to our solution explorer right here. Let's come to our form one. Now, of course, once we've created your project, I'll require you to go ahead and then add design your form over right here. From box, we drag a data grid view, bring it over right here. Also, we are going to need two text boxes as well as one rich text boxes, some labels, and then three buttons. Add, update, and of course, retrieve. Once we've done that one, then let's come over right here, come, double uh, right click work project, come right here, click class, name it whatever you like. Main, I've called it spacecraft right here. This is, going, this is going to be a module class. It's going to represent a single spacecraft. Remember, we shall be saving spacecraft into our database, of course, with their properties. Now, this class is going to define for us uh, those properties of our spacecraft. Take note, this class is a simple PSO class. This class, of course, with another class that we're going to be creating right here, this one shall be translated into uh, our table right here, okay? Now take note, uh, in fact, this shall be our columns. You can see ID, name, propellant, and then description. For us, this is ID right here. This is going to act as our primary key. Now, what you have to do, if you want a particular field to be uh, used as the primary key you have to it must have this particular tag id for instance you can call it spacecraft id or player id person id etc so that's it this is our simple module class once we have it then let's come over right here right click our project then come choose new item now for item let's come over right here to our data then come choose this entity data model okay then come click add now if you click add is going to bring us this dialog come right here and then choose empty code first model then click finish it's going to generate for us another class so this particular class right here you can see our spacecraft db for me this is what i call it okay then take note is giving us right here this particular constructor it's also giving us this property so take note inside the constructor in the base class we shall be setting uh, the name of our connection sync to spacecraft db in fact let's come over right here if we come to our app.config where our connection string is we shall come right here you can see spacecraft db the name that we specified right here 
take note of course as you can see we're using our uh like we're using our sql server of course local db right here this is our connection stream so let's come over here inside here you can see we have this particular db set this is going to represent our collection of our spacecrafts so what shall we do when saving we shall simply be adding right here okay we shall simply be adding our data to this particular collection when also we are retrieving it is this particular collection that shall be uh, getting and of course when updating also we shall simply be uh, first of all we shall find that particular spacecraft from this collection then of course update it with the appropriate data using our id so that's it guys this is our spacecraft db class once we have that one let's move over to our form one dot uh, cs class so right here this is our class the first thing that we're going to do uh, we're going to come over uh, right here and then we're simply going to make sure that of course we uh, just declare our spacecraft db this is, remember our spacecraft db the one that we define right here it's the child of our db context is what we're going to use to save and of course to retrieve uh, to retrieve and also to update our data once we've declared it in fact we're going to go ahead and then initialize it uh, just right here in our constructor then of course we come we're dealing with the data grid view so we're going to set its properties now selection mode we are setting into full row select okay and that's it then we're also going to uh, set our auto size columns mode to fill so that our data grid view are going to fill uh, no our rows are going to fill of course the whole of our data grid view so that's it once we have that one then of course the next thing to do is to come and add our data or to save our data now we're going to have one method right here that's going to help us in doing so now check note this particular method what we're doing is simple we are taking okay we shall be returning a boolean whether we successfully saved if we successfully said we return true at this we shall be returning false inside this method we're taking three properties name propellant as well as the description so for us what we're going to be doing the first thing of course to save our data we need our context so we shall check if our context is null then of course we're going to initialize it it's context equal to new spacecraft db okay so yes once we have it there then we can proceed now to save not to save of course we come simply instantiate our spacecraft then of course we give uh, using our object initializer right here we assign it properties name equal to name propellant equal to propellant description equal to description then of course we come make sure that we add uh, this particular spacecraft to our collection ctx the spacecraft is going to give us our da uh, db set we come call the add method we add that particular spacecraft then of course we call a ctx the save changes we call the save changes method to make sure that we persist our changes okay so that's it guys this is how we're going to be adding our data of course once we've added uh, that particular data then we're going to come right here to our add return click then we're going to say if our add button is clicked then we're going to call the add method we pass in this particular properties name uh txt.txt propellant and then our description now if successful of course this is going to return for us true then we make sure that we clear these particular text boxes okay that's it that's how we're going to save our data what about to re, uh, update now to update this is it what we're going to do right here once more we simply come uh, this particular update method take note it's taking these properties id new name new propellant as well as the new description so what we're going to do inside the try catch block if successful we shall return true otherwise we return false then of course uh, what we're doing right here first we make sure that we initialize our spacecraft db okay our db context our child right here then of course we come spacecraft new spacecraft equal to find in fact what we're finding we're finding our old spacecraft using the id right here using the find method take note ctx the spacecraft this is going to give us our spacecraft collection our db set then we call its find method we pass in the id that's going to give us we're going to find that particular spacecraft then of course we come set its uh, new properties for instance the name we set it to new name propellant we set it to new propellant description we set it to new description then of course once we've done that one we're going to call save changes to persist our changes 
of course for us then of course we return true so of course once we've done that one then we're going to proceed on to our update if our button right here is clicked then we're going to go ahead the first thing that we want is the id so data grid we want the selected rows we find at this particular right here actually selected rows we get at the first row that has been selected remember the user can select multiple rows we pick the first one index zero then of course we pick the first cell or the first column index zero right here its value then we cast its value to string this is give us an id okay which is in this case a string now we come our id should actually be an integer so we're going to cast it through into 32 then of course we pass the name propellant as well as the description if this returns for us true we're going to proceed on and then reset these particular text boxes so yeah that's going to do for us that's how we're going to update our data what about how to uh, come over it here no what about how to uh, retrieve our data well for retrieving our data we're going to create once more another method right here that i'm calling retrieve data so you can see this particular method is very simple well, in fact what we're doing right here we're simply initializing our specific db then we are passing in at the list in fact let's come create uh, this particular field dgv method first now this is very simple we're going to have right here how to fill our data grid view in fact what we're doing is very simple we're simply uh, making sure uh, right here that we set our data source okay in fact field dg view we're being passed a list of spacecrafts then we set that particular list as our data source to our data grid view one now if we come to our retrieve method in fact that's what we're going to be doing okay we simply come ctx the spacecrafts the true list we simply pass this is going to give us of course our db set which is our collection of spacecrafts we just cast it to list then we pass it over to our D uh, dg view we shall be set as the data source property for our data grid view one that's it that's how we're going to uh, fill in fact now we can simply come right here and then call our field dg view to fill our data grid view also right here once we've saved once we've uh saved we call it also once we've updated we also call it okay then of course we come to retrieve data we're simply going to come right here call at uh, the retrieve method to retrieve our data now for this particular event right here for us to validate it come come to our data grid view okay right click your data grid view then go to properties section now inside your properties go to the events now in your events we're going to come over right here and then uh, override this particular data grid view one double click this one is going to generate for us this data grid view one mouse click event so what we're going to do right here this is our whole class now let's come go ahead and then of course run our project and see what we have okay so here this is our stuff right here now we simply come click our retrieve uh, button over right here our data gets retrieved take note uh, the data that we had right here in our list view what of if you want to add a new one for instance i can come over right here and then i give this and then maybe i give it a uh, nuclear then i come click add okay it's very fast it gets added right here you can see what of if i want to update for instance i come choose this one let's say that i want to update multiple fields then right here i give it something like this one then of course uh yeah maybe i delete this one just to update it then i come click update okay right here it gets updated you can see it's updated okay take note of these changes of course shall be reflected in our database sql server database this is it this is how we work with sql server and of course entity framework under data grid view this is how we save how we update and also how we retrieve data i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have please hit the like button share this video with friends and family do subscribe because we normally do post uh, c sharp tutorials quite regularly others take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial